Okay, so first we opt into the LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Showcase. He thoroughly impressed me. And now in this one, we'll be hopping into the Metal Cool Core stage of the Red Zone. I decided to go with this, right? I feel like Gamma 1 is a far better leader. Uh, we have actually one of the Gammas, or one of the Gamma 1s in turn 2, which is fine. So how do I want to play this? I want to... Uh, I want to... Uh, sell. See, sell's a bit of a problem. Okay, let's... Let's do this. I'm actually going to float you off. No, no, we'll, we'll keep physical LR cell floated. Uh, we'll give this to the AGL cell. And then, yeah, we'll actually just give you the 12 keys up. Because I think we're going to take a bit of damage. But, yeah, I started to go with the Gamma 1 team instead. My idea behind this is we're going to have Gamma 1 in slot 1. We'll have Int LR cell in slot 2. And then, the way I've designed the team, the floaters will all be consisting of either the physical LR cell, AGL cell... Or the SDR second form cell. And we are currently in the Metal Cooler Core Red Zone stage. So this is not going to be the best, I say, stage four cell. But it's just one of those. If we can try and trigger that transformation, uh, we will look very... Uh, you know what? I should, we goofed. What I should have done is we should have popped the Scout right on this turn. Because then we could have sabotaged. Because again, a cell, uh, for those who don't know... Again, I forgot to mention this as well. This is a private server, so everyone you're seeing is 100% level 10 links. But Cell's transformation condition has now been adjusted to 40% or below. So it's a bit easy to activate, but it's still, I wouldn't say it's the, it's not the easiest thing either, right? I'm going to have to sabotage myself somewhat here. Okay, no super attacks. I think I th what I will do is I will just pop the scouter item right now on this turn two. And then hopefully there's a super attack in turn three and we can sabotage our health, right? That's essentially what I'm going for here. Okay, so we'll keep the rotations like this. Uh, let's just pop the scouter item now. Ooh, look how many attacks are on slot 2. I would love to put Gamma 1 in there. Uh, okay, that's it's not too big of a problem. Alright, so we'll do this. Now, actually, it, it's funny. You want to actually just try to grab the 12 key with Cell, right? Because Cell... Have I got him pulled up? I do. He gets 30% defense on his 12 key, and he gets no defensive raising on his 18 key. Uh, in terms of what his passive does, he gets 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he raises defense by up to 120. The more HP remaining, the greater the, def the defensive boost. And then he gets 2 key, 30% attack per resisting enemy. And he gets 50% attack and defense when forming a super attack. And a high chance of launching a super attack in general. So we're going to do this. I am going to... Shall I pop a sense mean? We should be good. So we're sitting at 3, 3, 6, 2, 0, 6. All right, let's see how this goes. I, I don't know. Um... 336206 multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 1.3. Cell's defense is going to be 655,601 with just one super here. Which is, I don't know, like it's okay. Attack stat isn't the greatest, 5, 5 million. Yeah, I, I think the LR Gohan is far and away better than this first one, but I think once we transform it to Cell, the gap is far um, less. I would probably advise, again, if you have dupes. Definitely go for additionals on Cell, though, right? A, a, triple, a triple super attack is possible in, the, in this base form. And that would put his defense at, just very quickly, that would put his defense at 958,000, which is pretty strong. All right, there's a super attack, which is nice. Hopefully, this knocks us below the HP required here. I'm not too sure. 54k. Okay, that didn't... That did, not, that did not do as much damage as I wanted it to, God damn it. Uh, just a quick heads up. Cell's defense there was 806,894 with that double super. So very, very powerful indeed defensively. If we're just talking raw defense, which is good. Okay. Now we get the uh, the AGL cell transformation. I think I will float him off here as well, which means the next time we see him, we should have uh, the, the big boy AGL cell out. Any super attacks? Any super attacks? Oh, there's a super attack in... There's a super attack in slot 3. I don't know if that's going to knock us below. This guy gets a lot of defense on super. Okay. Uh, okay, we can't actually grab same type keys as well. We have to avoid that. God damn it, there's just too much key, right? The Gammas, remember, they are support units. Uh, they, they both give key, right? Gamma 2 gives 1 key, I believe 30% attack. And then, no, yeah, Gamma 1 gives defense, doesn't he? I think? I don't know. My brain. I always get this confused. Uh, but they, they both, basically, they both give one key and then one gives 30 percent attack and then the other gives 30 percent defense the gams are still very strong i actually want them to return right because again it was very hard for both i think global and jp players to summon a bit easier for global players to summon for the gammas but i kind of want them to return they're still uh the, the, you know definitely within the top three 
best Tiwas right now in Dokkan. I I'd still say Kid Goku is better than Gamma One, but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue if you say Gamma One is better, right? Now, in terms of Cell, it's like yeah, C Cell. You definitely want. Does he have actually like stunning on his SA? No, he just lowers attack on the 18 key in his base form, and then he greatly lowers defense on the 12 key. I don't think I don't think AGL Cell is going to take enough damage to knock us below, which is going to suck because I kind of. I really need that into LSL transformation ASAP. Okay, that's good. We didn't double super attack because I think that Cell gets defense on super as well as an SA effect. So we should be good. Oh, no, Cell. God, no. <laughs> this is ruined. This is... Thank you, Cell. You've ruined everything. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. Where's he super attacking? Oh, that's actually... That's okay. We can probably get away with this. We probably can. All right, here's what we're going to do. We need to actually play the key spheres correctly to get the physical LSL, his 18 key. All right, that's perfect. And there we go. Okay. So in terms of links that we have activated, we have everything active barring Kamehameha, and that's all actually from the physical LSL. Now, in terms of buffs from links and what that means, it is 80% attack, 45% defense, 4 key, and then 3% health recovery. Uh, and yeah, let's do this. Okay. What's your defense again? 340, huh? Okay, 340, 475. It's going to be interesting because remember, Metal Cooler Core does raise his attack value after super. So, Cell might just get pieced up here, but let's see. He's at type disadvantage, by the way. Again, defensive level should be like 800,000 if he's able to double super. How much this do? Okay, that's good. That that put us in a, in a in a range. So what I may just do is I might just I may just pop the ghost usher again. Uh, these earlier videos, the same thing with the Gohan video. They're not supposed to be realistic. I know you can't really bring multiple items into this event. I'm just doing it because I want to see these transformations. Right? Again, I just I think it's important that we actually get to see how powerful these transformations are. Indeed, Cell, you should be good. Don't disappoint me. Okay, yeah, we're definitely good now. He's uh, at a million defense. Okay. <laughs> Yep, like, okay, he's about 969,000, I believe, around there, but he's practically a million. Yeah, double digits, okay. I don't think, you're, you're, surely you're not going to take that much damage, brother, please. Please, physical LSL, you're not, you're not taking, like, 190k, are you? Brother, he, he, hold on, hold on, he might take a lot of damage, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god, we barely survived. Okay, yep, I'm not playing around. Uh, let's just pop the Ghost Usher again. Uh, not realistic. I want to keep reiterating this. It's not realistic at all. But uh, we kind of have to do it for the showcase. Uh, sure, we'll do this. And I will avoid same type keys. For okay, so so far, so good. It looks like we'll start cooking with Int LR Cell. Int LR Cell, by the way, is a... He, I, don't, I think, definitely think on paper, his kit matches... LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's power, for sure. Uh, he, he does a lot of good things, right? He fully recovers your health once only. He's a Rainbow Orb Changer. He changes int to Rainbow Key Spheres. He gets 6 key and 180 to attack defense at the start of turn. There's a high chance of launching an additional super attack. He reduces damage received by 3% per key sphere obtained. He then gets 30% attack and defense when attacking with 4 key spheres. 40% attack and defense when attacking with 6 or more key spheres. And then 50% attack and defense when attacking with 8 or more key spheres. There's also his active skill as well, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility just with how the Gammas here are uh, operating, right? No, most notably Gamma 2. I think uh, Cell will get one rotation and that is it in his perfect Cell form, but I mean, that's fine. It's to be expected. Again, it's, it's a bit of a, a difficult active skill to activate, right? It, it's very similar to the LR Gods, not the LR Gods, the, the LR Blue Fusions in that sense, right? So... Uh, it is what it is. Okay, Gamma 2. I've been I've been busy monologuing. You need to kind of just wrap up the supers, my guy. Relax. Okay, SDR second form side does some decent damage. There's a transformation. This isn't voiced, is it? I don't think so. I'm gonna assume this is not voiced. Otherwise, I would have put the the volume all the way up. I think we're good. Okie dokie, so that is... We're cooking. I think we're cooking now. Alright, I'm just going to double check. What's Gamma 1 support again? I keep forgetting this. Is it 30% attack or defense? It is 30% defense. Okay. 
So, uh, how many do we need again? I, I just, I, I literally spent a, like 10 minutes monologuing and I forgot. We need eight key spheres. Are you kidding me? No way. No, please. I feel like, I feel like this is my best bet. I think. Okay, let's try this. Eight, please. I am a genius. Please bow down before my genius here. Okay. Um, the defense isn't actually going to kick in until later, right? I think so. I think that's how it's going to work. So we'll do this. Does the defense kick in? It doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So in terms of links, we have Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Ultimate Life Form, and then Fierce Battle activated. What that means in terms of buffs from links is... Drum roll, please. Actually, wait, I, pulled, I pulled up the wrong cell. All right, this cell. There we go. So we're getting 65% attack, 35% defense, 2 key, and then 3% health recovery. I'm just going to take one last look. So we get 30% attack and defense there, 40% there, and then another... Okay, I'm not... I'm not going to... Look, I don't think I'm going to sit here all day and try to calculate his defense. We can just assume it's going to be over a million, right? Because it's... It, I, I don't know how this would work. 30, 40, 50. Like, are we adding these values up and then multiplying that by cell start a turn? Or are we doing, like, 3... 300k, whatever cell start a turn was. Multiply by 1.3, multiply by 1.4, multiply by 1.5, multiply by a further 1.5 and 1.5 because of his SA effects. I'm not too sure. 21 mil, huh? Just casually 21 mil. Although he's not going to be type effective or anything or critting, right? Okay, he did crit there. And he gave me an additional normal. Okay, that was actually through the hidden potential system, by the way, because Cell, he just has a high chance to launch an additional super attack. It's not a high chance for like hit for a guaranteed normal to be a super, but yeah, that was uh that was definitely interesting. But uh, here's the thing, I, I think I was a bit more impressed with was I more impressed with Gohan? I think I think I was. It's just overall, as I said. The, the post-transform states are powerful for both. It's just Gohan is far and away better in the Super Saiyan form. But yeah, Cell is ludicrously powerful in this uh, in this perfect Cell form. But I also think it just goes to show you like a team, right? Team building. It's just a lot easier to build a team for Gohan. And I think that's a mistake on Dokkan's end. These extreme class units really have all... They, all, they ought to be releasing with a bare minimum, I, I would say, of shocking speed, big bad bosses, fierce battle. Right, those are the three links that all villains should have, right? Regardless of whether you're Kibu, Frieza, Janemba, whatever. Because then you can kind of just mix these teams up a bit. Otherwise, like, you know, Cell's solid, but I'm, I need to run him on, like, this team. Or I think the other team that I constructed was this one, right? Where you need to run him on this Android like Cell Saga team. And ideally, none of these units are, like, crazy in slot one, which is why I had to, which is why I had to, you know, run Gamma 1. And fortunately for me, Gamma 1 is so strong that you can actually get away We've just running in with Fierce Battle activated. But yeah, thank you for watching. And when guys think of Cell, definitely impressive. But uh, he definitely needs some help as well uh, in the near future.